If you're looking to set up a webhook for your Shopify store in under five minutes and you don't need to have any technical knowledge, then this video is for you. So just jumping right into it. For this, we're going to need Zapier and we're going to need our Shopify store. So firstly, let me give you a quick definition of what a webhook is. So a webhook, I've mentioned it in a few videos on my channel and I've explained it. But again, a webhook is just a link that we give to another service or a, a shop like Shopify or WooCommerce, etc. We give them this link and say when a certain thing happens on our shop or our website or whatever on your website, um, like an order fulfillment, order created, etc. Send us some information about that and send it to this link we just gave you. So first step is going to be setting up the webhook in Zapier. Super quick, just a couple of steps. You know, create Zap from fresh. Then you're going to search for webhooks once it loads. You can say catch hook because we want to receive data. You don't need to worry about too much here. You can just click continue. And this is what we need. So over here, we want to save this link here. Just save it to a spreadsheet or a text document, wherever, because we're going to need that in our Shopify store now. So clicking over to our Shopify store, uh, I'm just going to start fresh on this one. So let's go right to the top just so I can show you all the steps. You're going to go settings. You're going to go notifications. You're going to scroll right to the bottom. You're going to say create a webhook. And these are all the options we can do. We can receive information about all of these different events. So they're all going to have different information, but we can create one for each single one. So let's in this example say uh, order payments because then maybe after they pay, we want to add them to a CRM or something. And you're going to copy across that link we just saved, save webhook. And the one thing I really love about um, Shopify is it gives you this little send test notification on the right. So you can just click that. It will say send. Click over to our Zapier again. Say test your trigger. And boom. Just like that, we get all that information based on what would happen when an order payment is fulfilled on Shopify side. And like I said, all of the different types are going to have different information. But from this point on, you can do whatever you want with all this information. So if your next step is going to be um, add them to a CRM, you can go do that. Very easy, very straightforward. You can add them to I don't know, Google Sheets or maybe you want to send them an email. You can do whatever you want to do. So just to go back to the webhook section. So this link here, Shopify dev webhook. This will show you all of the different type of events again, the same ones we will get from the drop down, check out collection, customer, etc. And if you want to get a bit nitty, a bit more kind of nitty gritty to see what it gives you, you just click view response. And this is all the information it's going to give you. And then you can use that information in another part of your zap, or you can do whatever you want with it. So hopefully that wasn't too technical. I try to keep it very top level and just show you the steps and kind of the basic understandings you need. But again, if you, um, if you enjoy that video, just give me a thumbs up, give me a subscription, and then also feel free to watch, uh, reach out if you need help with any of these type of things. I'm always available. Just give me a shout. Cheers.